and it was all women, which I love men, but it was awesome. The lead of our event, her boyfriend came and that was a great security for us, but it was all women and we did it together. And we were having a conversation by the campfire that night when we were cooking dinner. And uh, we just basically, we were talking about life, you know, and I was telling some of the young girls that we are more than work oh, yeah. and paying bills and taxes. Yep, 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 yep. I know that the hustle and bustle of life gets yeah, to us. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I know that it probably mm -hmm. seems real easy for me to say this now that I'm not in the thick of it. But trust me when I say I felt like this when I was in the thick of it. I just couldn't. I didn't have anybody else to bounce ideas off of. I didn't have anyone to kind of help me navigate that space, if you will. But we are more than the struggle of, of life. There is a way to have the joys that, that you have in your life while mm -hmm. going to work those nine to fives or that midnight shift or graveyard or whatever. There's, mm -hmm. there's joy out there. And I don't want people to feel like, woe is me. There's, there's always going to be like this. And no, it ain't. No, it ain't. You got to decide that this is not what you want. You got to decide that you, that you deserve some joy. Mm -hmm. When you find one joy, there's going to be two joys. There and two go. can turn into 10 joys. That's and right. next thing you know, you have a life of joy. You have the regular, regular stuff that you're going to deal with in life, but you have something to kind of offset that so mm. that you don't sink so far down when things don't go well. 